Hey folks, how's it going? The name's Daffy and welcome to another episode of Sly 2 Benefits for the PlayStation 2. Alright, now I'm going to do this episode's finale. So we're going to get started. So I think we have to start as Bentley. Yes, we do, I think. Yes. Right, so before we start, um, this is another um, gadget specific or gadget requirement job. It's Sly's alarm clock is what you need. Um, I believe it's was it 600 or 400 i think it's 600 coins to buy it so you need to buy that before we do this so here we go then operation canada games eh okay guys let's head down there and win those talents from jean bissau sly try to keep a low profile when we get close we don't want him to recognize you yep. so yeah i hope everyone is fine and dandy today so this uh i believe this operation is going to keep us on our toes, so let's see what happens. We're here for the games, eh? We're here for the games, eh? Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack game. Did it look like lumberjacks? Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure <laughs> enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. I hear a whip of a noise. To winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Six and like. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. All right, so the idea of this is we have to hit it in between the log. You can press any button for it. Shit, missed one. I believe you can make one mistake, I think, so it's not that bad. Not bad. Yeah, you can make one mistake. If you make so many mistakes or take enough time, um, you will miss out. You'll have to start again, that's what I'm saying. This one's an interesting bit. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe time. Yep. Also, this is one where we can't get hit either. And the thing is, though, there's no shadows to tell you where exactly the fucking bird's coming from, so I'm just gonna have to keep moving and hope for the fucking best here. And we're on a timer, too. That damn fucking eagles. Oh, can we get there before it? Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I don't think the eagles can get you now. Oh! Christ, that's spot too soon. Right, the eagles definitely can't get you now. Okay, so it's just a simple case of just crossing and just timing things. But we're still in a timer. God oh, damn it. Also, I love the music for this heist as well. Quickly. You bastard. Oh, fuck. As I say, I love the music for this heist as well, for this part of the episode. Just keep moving. Uh, it's quite epic. I like it. It really gets the blood flowing. I'm not going to make it time, am I? Nope. Come on now. Also, you don't need to hold any button or anything, so you're alright. Uh, Bentley will hold the egg automatically. Okay, stay by the edge this time. Boss. Alright, stay by the edge. Stay by the edge. Stay by the edge. Stay by the edge. Ready or not. And go. Right, here we go. With time to spare, I think. Okay, go, 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 go. Nice. Hmm. Zero, zero, zero. Nice. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? She bastard. Well, I mean, we're cheating as well. Oh, fuck this one. Let's see how you. Nice. I hate this one. Oh, come on. Yeah, I really fucking hate this one. I hate this one with passion. I really do. So basically, name of the game is to get up this fucking vertical wall ice as quickly as possible. But, come on. 
We've got these wheat. Come on. Come on. He's a break. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Oh. I thought I was going to miss that then. Right. Now we have to attach these grapple hooks. Got to be quick with this one. Fucking, I hate this one with a passion. I really, really do. Okay, this one. Over. Okay. Missed. That's two. Finally. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. It's the minute you... Okay, let me... Let me... But, uh... It's the minute he starts getting higher, and then the angle starts getting, um... You know, higher and more vertical, it's the harder it gets. Pull the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? I roast him for my dinner. I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. A spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Yeah, pretty much. But if you excuse me, I'll be a sec. Alright, sorry about that. I was um fixing my mic. Alright, so fuck's sake. Dip in them icy Canadian waters. God damn it. So basically it's pretty simple. You just gotta stay in a log and just as it's going down, it comes back up. Simple as that. What I like to do is I like to stay in the middle for the most part. Because, basically, it gives you options, you know? Normally, the middle one is the last to go down. But every now and then, RNGesus decides to throw the middle one down first. And then it's literally a fucking 50-50 split. So you pre like that, for example. So you pretty much gotta have to fucking watch out here. But for the most part... As long as you're tying your double jump like that, you should be okay. okay. Sneaky, sneaky. These legs of yours just can't move fast enough. Fuck's sake. <laughs> God damn it. Honestly, I took my eye off the ball for the last minute. No, 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 no. Center, center, center. I never have trouble with this one. I never have trouble. I missed the jump. I missed the jump. I missed the jump. <laughs> Come on. I'm normally really good at this one as well. Come on. Don't give me this. Don't give me this. Just because I press the record button doesn't mean we have to act up. Oh, come on, game. Help me out here. Help me out here. We're right, desperate and log rolling. Come on. There we go. Steady as she goes, steady as she goes. Okay, there we go. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, which one's going down first? Alright, there we go. There we go. Now we're smoother. Smoother than anything. Oh, he's going down first. There we go. Right, don't get you out of the ball. There we go, we've done it. You're one lucky turtle. I'll yeah, give you that. Lucky indeed. Now, watch how a skilled log roller does. This is why you need the alarm clock, by the way. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. Mm-hmm. And even then, when do things go to plan? 
So yeah, so we need to be kind of quick with this. I think you got a solid three minutes, I think, so that's not too bad, but we need to throw on the alarm clock gadget. So yeah, we gotta have to be kind of quick. Also, don't let the judges see you. So basically, you throw the alarm clock, you come back to another platform, and then you throw another one. Simple as that. Do the same for this one, come back a little bit, and then throw this one at the entrance, and then go jump in the barrel and just wait. Okay, that's one down. Two to go. <laughs> Pen level is ridiculous. So as I was saying, you've got about a good three minutes or something like that, so you don't need to uh, waste time. But just be careful of your gadget power as well. There's absolutely zero way to restore it while you're doing this. So make sure you don't miss your um, make sure you don't miss your your one clocks. God, Bentley looks. Uh, sorry, Maria looks even worse. All right, last one. Okay, for it. Ooh, that was close. Bro. Well, and finally, last one. And there we go. Sweet. Shit, no one over. Also, if you don't distract them in time, they will end up going back to the post. Zero, zero, and zero. What? I thought I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a sec. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Ow? Yeah. Oh, my aching. <laughs> Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. Looks if like a fit through there in all honesty. I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these but who am I to argue with video game logic? Do that. I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. So yeah, Murray's gonna be the big man, the strong man. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Boss time. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you would find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were on just me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? You dirty, dirty bastard. I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid <laughs> we turtles really are. Mark. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Miss Odd. Yep. I love this boss fight. I really do. Okay, Best one in the game. Get ready for a smushing. Right, so basically... Which lever I should pull. Right, so basically... Murray cannot go toe to toe with Bison. Sorry, Bentley cannot go toe to toe, toe to toe with Bison. Absolutely hell no. So instead, what we need to do is we need to lure him 
on these different types of traps. So triangles for your saws, and your saws will open. You press the square button over these pits, that is burned. Then you get it underneath the logs, for example, and there you go. So yeah, so pretty cool. So really, just run around and just don't let them touch you. And then we should do a quarter of itself. You gotta be careful now. Ow! How do you know he did that? Like, as in. Yeah. So basically, just let the traps just do what they're doing. That's close. Health, that'll be nice. Alright. <laughs> sauce. God. No roll stuck. Alright, so now Jumper Sans is gonna throw a fucking dynamite. So you need to keep on the move. And he can't get attacked by his own dynamite, which is fucking stupid in my opinion. Also, regarding the different um, traps you can do, I would avoid the log ones because Sly will drop all the log ones at once. And even though you're trying to keep, uh, trying to lead Bison, Bison, sorry, John Bison, over the um, the different traps, you could accidentally drop a log in yourself, and it actually does a good portion of your health if that happens. So I would stick with saws and flames. I would just leave the uh, the the, uh, the logs alone. I'll tell you what. The logs are the final one. Tarnation. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. I'm strange indeed. And brains triumph over broad. <gasps> nice. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Our PGO's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough padding our scoots. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get on to that blimp. Mm -hmm. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! So, you're on a timer for this bit, and you've got a whole minute. That blimp's on its way! But for the most part, it should be alright. There's no guards around, as far as I know, and there's no bear either, so... It's just straight there. You'll be alright. There we go, and all you have to do is get close to it. And that, my friends, is episode 7. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. 
I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Oh, hey there. You having some car troubles, eh? Yeah, we're trying to get to the North Pole. I don't suppose you're from AAA, are you? Who? AAA, you know? AAA. Oh, AAA, eh? Hey, I just came from AA. No, not AA, AAA. Yeah, that's what I said. AA, eh? Oh, so you are with AAA? Oh, no, that's AAA. I just came from AA, eh? Huh? Stewie, I think he's just a drunk. So, yeah, that's episode 7. So, the team van is gone. Now, question. Yeah. Let's make this a special one. Because now we're going to do episode 8. And we're going to get the last remaining clue bottles. And we'll start the end of this epic, epic adventure. That is, that is Sly 2. Sorry, not episode 8. <laughs> Sly 2. Oh, this is going to be a good one. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Sly Cooper, the gang in. Anatomy for disaster. Yep, Anatomy for disaster. The final episode. Let's see some what's on for sale, shall we? Right, so obviously I've not been doing any, um, not been doing any, uh, what should we call it, hitboxing. So I'm going to have to, um, once I do all the treasures and stuff, I'm going to have to do a little bit of pitpocketing and get these final, get these final gadgets. Because to get 100% in the game, in terms of 100% bio, you need to buy all the gadgets. So, um, we got Feral Pounce, Diablo Fire Slam, Temporal Lock, and Reduction Bomb from the last episode. But we'll deal with them later. Right now, we are going to do the final episode, and we're going to get all the clue bottles. So, as far as I know, the clue bottles are actually, uh, I'm not going to say they're easy, but they are actually quite straightforward to find, unlike the, um, the other episodes, in my opinion. As long as you deal with one, if you, as long as you deal with one area at a time, you should be alright. But, you mean problem will be coming from um, elevation. Different levels and stuff, really. And these guards are just the fucking worst, I'll tell you that now. Yeah, because of attacks like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm, seems to be a lot of slowdown in this episode, so we'll have to watch that. We are. Alright, so I need to think of the top of my head. Where's the other clue balls? Uh, is there anything I can get, get on top of here? I think there might be a clue ball up here, I think. Yep, right there. Just run. I mean, I'll be extremely honest with you, I seldom, um, I seldom find the clue bottles in this episode just because of the different um, elevations and stuff. It can really get really annoying quite quickly, so I tend not to bother really when anything. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You know, we've got four different areas, but yeah, yeah, I guess four different areas like this area, the sensor up top, and then the two at the back. So yeah. Pretty straightforward, but for the most part, it's it can be a little rough. Really. 
this is the one on top of here. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Let's go to the other end then. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Okay, I think, um... I think there's one up here, I think, but I think we need to... Let's see, this guy got any loot? No. Can I go up here? Uh, yes we can. I don't think... Uh, I don't see the point in that. <laughs> we can climb up here, but we can't get up from there. Weird. Oh well. Yeah, I thought maybe we could be it. Holy ball. Not holy ball. Small bomb, that's what I meant to say. Got the launch pad. But yeah, the, the actual background is absolutely beautiful. I love this place. Just for its aesthetics more than anything. In terms of um in terms of, uh, da -da 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 -da, what do we call it? In terms of traversing the place, it's annoying as hell. Just because of the, the different elements, like I mentioned. But, it's crazy. Also, uh, one thing I seldom mentioned throughout this entire game. I don't know if you listen to the background music of each individual part. But it uses the Sly Cooper melody, the do 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 do, in different forms. I got to mention that I'm an idiot. For the most, for the most part. All right, I think we have to jump in here. I think there's a clue ball here. I'm not sure there is. There isn't a clue ball here. I think there was. I must be going up or not. I thought it was a clue ball. Or what's not? One up here, not really. Seven for this area? Hmm, I think so. Okay, right. Now, I want to see if I can... Okay, I remember this one. I used to have so much trouble trying to get this one, actually. Uh, this one up here in a second. I just want to grab this one. Yeah, the only way of getting up there, as far as I'm aware, is to use the Feral Pounce. So I might need to come back for this one later, but I don't want to. I want to get this now. Unless I can get up there. Let's have a look. But yeah, as I mentioned, um, like I said, the clue bottles are pretty simple to get to, but it's just a different layers of verticality. Looking stupid. Okay, I think there's one up here, I think. Uh, yeah, right up here. Okay, that's 10. Oh, this guy's got loot. So yeah, about further away. Let me just quickly pickpocket this guy. Nice. Large go bar. Right, well, if you excuse me for a second, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, sorry but I'm back. Alright, let's carry on with this clue bottle sign, shall we? Right, what did I check? What did I not? Right, we might as well jump across here while we're uh, while we're in the area. My plan is to try and take the higher levels before moving down to the bottom ones. That's the plan at least, so we'll see what happens. Oh, this guy's got loot, but I don't want to smash that bottle yet because I don't want to draw his attention. Yeah, I want to pick as many pockets as I possibly can because we get the good stuff in this level anyway. Really? You have to turn at the last minute? Fuck off of my building! Right, so that's 11. Um, yep, we need to get on top of that structure. If we want to get... Um, if we want to get up to um, 11 and... If you want to get the rest, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Right, I can't remember how we get up there, though. Okay, how do we get up there? 
Uh, there is a way to get up there, but I can't remember how we do it. Maybe not from this part? No, maybe not from this part, actually. It might be across, I think. Let me get rid of this guy. Alright, there we go. Okay, yeah, jump down here. Yeah, there's a clue ball there, but we're not going for that just yet. In fact, I'm just waiting now until I get around to the other level, because I don't think... Okay, yeah, we should be alright. I was going to say, I don't think there is any other clue bottles over that side, but... I want to try and get on top of that structure because there's a few on top of there, but I'm not sure if I need a specific gadget or not. I don't know. I can't remember really. But I'm sure sugar that I can. Alright, that's 12. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're getting there. Another one there. There's actually quite a few in this area, actually. Like I said, I'm just doing these next couple of areas first. We move down to the bottom. But yeah, you have to watch out for this bit because it's the only way of getting to this area. But the only problem is, um, you will, um, you will fall off. Come it say. Don't touch that. We're not ready for that just yet. That you can see, Blimp HQ Recon. In fact, is this what we want to do? We want to climb up here? To get there? Ah, right, so that's how you do it. Alright. That's how you get on top of here. Okay, now it makes sense. So you gotta do it from this area. Alright, at least we can get up here now. That's alright. Alright, now we have to work our way across here because there's a few blue bottles on top of here, as far as I remember. I see there's one here. I'm sure there's one on the other side as well. I'm not entirely too sure. Bastard. Yep. <laughs> Long fall from grace. Yeah, it's one over here as well. Right, so that's halfway. Okay, that's number 16. Right, now is that it for all the top ones? I think that is it for all the top ones, I think. Whoa, what? Whoa, what the fuck are you doing, Sly? What are you doing? I never touched no button. Fuck. <laughs> What's well, caught then, you fucking idiot? Right, I'm just trying to think. Where. Question of where, but how the fuck did we get up there without the, um, the fucking... Ah, come on. I'm trying to figure out how to jump on here without... Ah, fuck. Do I really need the Feral Pounce to get on there? Unless... No, I might not need to. Let's get top of here. I might be able to paraglide off this uh, balloon here, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, you can fuck off and go to hell. I think I might be able to paraglide off of here, I hope. Nope. Now I need to use the Pharaoh Pounce. Ah, great. Something to get fucked off. I was hoping not to, really. Because I always use the barrel pass to get on top of there. Right, I might have to wait then. Okay, right, as far as I'm aware, I believe that's all the clue bottles from 
the top level. So let's start working our way down then. So there's number 17. Here's number 18. Ooh, almost. <laughs> so I almost lost half his legs then. Oh, fuck. That was close, I'll be honest with you. So that's about 19. All right, so I'm going to call that top one 20 then, all right? Okay, so it's that. All right, so that's 20, so 10 left then. I do know there's one down here. I do know that much. Also, these egg things. Yep. They have um, enemies in them as well. So be careful of that. Okay, here's number 21. Let's see where number 22 is. Ah, that's number 22. I knew there was one in the area. Okay, so number 22. Now it's number 23 around here. No, it's not. Okay. Say, so, okay, my box. Okay, so that's 22. Oh, sorry, 23. Right, so we have, um... We have seven left. Okay, cool. Okay. That's one way, I think that'll be good. That's it. Come on. Good, that's one down. Alright, that's two. Right. So let's get twenty four then. 24, okay, 6 left, 6 left. That's too bad. Um, oh. I see number 25. That's lucky, I was about to go past that then. 25, okay, so anything up here? Nope, it's just another way to get up top of there. Okay, don't worry, isn't That's number 25. Go fall on this light. Idiot. Okay, let's go top of here because we need to avoid that guard. Unless he's got loot. Yes, he has got loot. Let's rob us a bird. Let's rob us a robot bird with a fucking cannon on his arm. Yeah, and just knocks us off. A okay, nice sweet prince. Give me that health. Thank you. Right, I believe up here we spied. Yep, number 26. So we've got four more. Okay, come on then. Come on. Maybe one of you guys can give me some health. That would be brilliant, please. Nope, just coins. Alright. Come on. Alright, still missing um, four more. Four more. Four more, four more, four more. Try and rely on my hearing here. These four be. I don't hear anything either. Great. So yeah, so we're back to hunting high and low now. Right. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do. Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna pick this guy's pocket, if possible. And not get caught because I don't fancy an AC 10 to the face. Uh, let me just get this then. There we go. The large go for three. All right, so I'll start making some cuts and I will see you when I found the other three, I guess. Yeah, I'll see you, see you in a bit. Here's 26. So actually, that's 27. Two more to go. About 28. On top of you. Just saw that in the corner of my eye. Okay, so I believe that's one more and we're golden. Is it? No. No, I'm missing um, 
No, I'm missing two more. Sorry, no one more. Ah, you know what I mean. Here's 28. Up oh, 28. We need one more and we're golden. Alright, folks. I think I found the last one. Yeah. There. 29. Now, I want to die. Specifically, because I want to get back to the safe house. So, it took me... Actually, to be honest, it took me 20 minutes to try and find it. To the point where I had to look it up. So, that's the black one. And I'm still short. No, I've been trying to get this one, um, this one clue bottle for I don't know how long. Like normally, can't do it. So I think you need the ferro pouch. So I'm just going to pick a few pockets and then we'll do it. A small diamond. That should be enough. Get me away. Right, well, is that enough for it? Nope. 80 short. 20 short. Bastard. Oh, must you make my night a living hell? Trust me, I got so much to edit after this because I just left the recording going. I forgot to um, stop the recording at certain parts. It would have made my editing a lot easier, but fortunately, nope. Right. This guy's got some loot. Right, come on. Keep your back pocket change, and then I can call it a night. There we go. Need your back, let's fuck it. Alright, let's go get the gadget that we need for this one fucking clue ball then. Oh, fuck's sake, come on, game, work with me here. We're literally the last bit of the episode, and you want to act up, dog. You want to act the fucking go, eh? Alright, here we go. Right, we're in. Bentley. Sell it, and let's get it. The Feral Pounce. Basically, the Feral Pounce is my go-to gadget. Jump over fast distances. You just press R2. And you start jumping like that. It's pretty cool. Not to mention, you can pretty much squirrel your way across the map as well. And the fact is, you could use it. Double jump, and you can glide like that, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's get to the top of this, shall we? Oh, we're already at the top. Batching what? Okay, never mind. Nah, I wanna. I just wanna get stuck. Right, I think. I need to get to the top of here. And then Feral Pounce, that, and then. Yeah. That's what you need to get to get our bottle. It's fucking stupid. The fact is that you need to spend 19,000 on a gadget to get our one glue ball. It's horrendous. But if anything. It's a small price to pay because that is the final clue bottle in this game. And with that, we have collected every single clue bottle in the game, which is nice. So we don't need to worry about it. So yeah, I'm going to call it there because like I said, I've been recording for over an hour. And I've got a lot of editing to do, so that's going to be kind of cool. So in the next episode, we'll go over the three treasures. Um, between them, um, what I'll do is... I'll do some pitpocketing for the next episode, and then even with the treasure, it should be enough to um, get the rest of the, the gadgets, and they can demonstrate them all, and then it's just the final leg of the road, the final leg of the journey, if you will. So, yeah, so I think this game will be finished in the next two to three episodes, and then that's it. I mean, it's been a hell of a game. I love Slide 2. I really do. My favourite in the series. Had quite a few laughs. I love it. Yep. And there's nothing more we can do. So anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Uh, please, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. We've got new stuff coming every day of the week. A lot of fun around here. And you enjoyed... What did I say? What did I say? Oh yeah, the links. Yeah, 
quit and just go dumbo out. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, and anyway, you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.